hey, hey, look at that, the studio, it's almost empty because we're moving. And I'm actually getting my own studio dedicated. Right now I'm in the house, so I hear the kids bouncing around upstairs. So it's gonna be amazing to have my own space, quiet, have a good solid schedule, start pumping out videos again, because I know I've been, I've been lagging a little bit lately, but that's because I've been kind of repositioning my brand, my message, my life to better human, to helping people think better and live better. It used to be helping people eat better through real food and kind of think ancestrally and things like that. And that is a huge passion. It's a core principle for my life, how we raise our kids, et cetera. That's never gonna change, right? It's a first principle. But as I've probably shared with you already, I've become frustrated with the health space in general because I feel like it's becoming an echo chamber and I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over. And I feel like a lot of the people that like to watch these videos, whether it was carnivore diet or paleo diet or like ancestral health or whatever, it just ends up communicating to people that already get it. And if you're here and you already get it, you know, I appreciate you watching, but we all need to kind of think a little bit outside ourselves because the trends are not good. I don't want to fear monger or go into that anymore, a little bit of the complaining negative perspective, but I mean, it's 10%, literally 10 freaking percent of America is considered metabolically healthy. We can't just box ourselves off and build amazing lives for ourselves and then just kind of like shun everyone else, right? Like. I could do that. Part of me at times does want to do that because it's easier and because it's very frustrating to try to help people that don't want to help themselves. That's why I'm focused on the mind and mindset. If I can help people uncover some of their limiting beliefs, help become a little bit more self-aware, help just shine a spotlight on the ego and all these ideas of the inner world that most people have no ideas even there. If I can help people do that, they're going to most likely get way further along towards the health end of the spectrum while also getting happiness and prosperity, if I can help them think better and be more open and become aware, health will be a downstream byproduct of that. And that's why now the only thing that I'm gonna be focused on for the rest of my life, uh, for the bulk of what I talk about, think about, and how I'm helping people, it's gonna be in regards to the mind, how to think, and obviously then how to live and how to take actions based on that thought process, based on upgrading your mental models and building a first principles approach to thinking and to life. So I know I did a video before on this, or I've talked about in a couple other videos. I didn't fully kind of refine what my positioning was and everything. And so if you're interested, you can go to betterhuman.school and we have the eight week program where you're gonna go into a group training. Every week, uh, we're gonna do the group training lesson, Q and A. We're also gonna kind of get into some hot seat stuff. And if you wanna participate, whatever, that's gonna be a little bit more hands-on. You get to interact with me on a weekly basis. And we'll also have some coaching rooms on a, on a schedule that you can kind of hop onto. Or if you want just kind of the learn at your own pace, self-paced access, that's a much more affordable option where you get the core curriculum that we cover in the eight week program. You just don't get the hands-on and the interaction as much, right? There will also be community features though in the back end and discussion forums, and we'll be building out that knowledge library as we go. So you can learn more about the two different options. And if you are interested at all in leveling up the way you think, and then thus leveling up your life, if you're struggling with being stuck, if you're not motivated, if you're uninspired, if you're just going through the motions, if you need to kind of kickstart the next phase of your life and you don't really know where to start or, or how to think about it, the hard part of what I'm doing now is there is quite literally every benefit you could ever want. If you want to make more money, get out of debt. If you want to find a partner, if you want to improve your relationship, if you want to raise your kids better, like everything is going to come down to this. So that's the hard part because I don't even know for you what core thing that you want right now in your life or the big thing you're struggling with. But I promise you this, whatever that thing is, it's a result of how you think. There's some mental machinery in your mind. There's probably some limiting beliefs or stories you tell yourself that are keeping you stuck where you're at and unable to get to where you want to be. You're here, you wanna be here. This right here, this bridge, if you can't get your mind right, if you can't get your mind to help you cross that bridge or to even see the bridge is there, <laughs> the awareness part, right? Then you're not going to get to where you want to go. For years, I was, as an entrepreneur, doing things that were comfortable or safe for me. Like I like to just do more of my own thing and be more inbound and maybe not put myself out there as much, not be as public. And that worked for a while. I built, you know, multi-million dollar company and, and everything. And then I realized like I was hitting a plateau. I was, I was hitting a plateau in challenging myself. I was hitting a plateau in my network and, and people. I wasn't investing enough time in my network and other people, which is a huge part of life satisfaction. 2020 actually really helped me break out of that and kind of made me realize a lot of things and really identify what my infinite game is and what I want to do. And I'm uber grateful for that because, I mean, as it says, iron sharpens iron. 
The only way that you grow is through some kind of dedicated effort or hardship or struggle. The thing is, most people go through life waking up just wanting things and just, I guess, believing that something's going to just happen or change magically, but that doesn't happen. You change. Or something is forced upon you, like the death of someone that you care about, or you lose your job, or some other financial hardship or, or life hardship. The thing is, you want to actually prepare yourself before you're forced to prepare, because when life forces you to get better, um, it might be hit or miss whether you actually adapt and get stronger. Some people lose a lot of money, commit suicide. Some people develop a victim, a victim mindset and a woe is me, and they're worse off from the tragedies in life. It's not a given that if life comes at you and dishes you up the hardness as it does for all of us, that you're just going to come out better. A given. Arm yourself way sooner. Prepare yourself way sooner. That's what I believe. I'm super excited about what's going to happen on this channel. I'm going to keep putting out content uh, that's going to be useful in some way. It'll be way more mindset focused, habits, productivity. I'll branch off here and there, but I promise that it will always be useful, always be valuable. And I'll always take your comments and suggestions below. Yeah. If you want to, you know, kind of hop in early to the new program and be one of the founding students and really help me build something amazing that I will forever be grateful to you for. And if you want to interact with me and learn from me close up, then head over to betterhuman.school. And if not, at least subscribe and keep watching videos and keep leveling up your life in whatever way that means for you. And I wish you the best in that regard. And if there's ever anything I can do, you know, ask me questions or whatever. Like I said, like I'm still out to help people and I'm still 99% of what I put out in the world is free. But if this is what I'm gonna do the second part of my life, I also have to make a living. And that's why I decided a paid mindset coaching program was a way to do that. The way that I have the biggest impact, uh, the way that I could feel like I could truly commit to it instead of like trying to do a bunch of other things for money. Like this is what I wanna do. So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. And we're about to move back to South Austin. That's what's happening here. And like I said, I'm having my own studio and I can't wait for that as well. All right, I will see you in the next one.